So South Africa is dying to find out what you've got on the menu. Uh, today we've got on the menu, it's uh, yeast, a tiny cauliflower. And then that we're gonna to top it off with some lemon and herb, lemon and herb dressing on top. Mm. And then for mains we're having a citrus escabeche. Mm. And then we're gonna seal off some hake for that and some nutty curry puree on top of it. Mm. And then for desserts we're having patlavas. So we're taking it all the way to Middle East. Also. I'm very excited about all of that South <laughs> Africa. If you are as excited as we are, and if you're ready to throw down in the kitchen, please do head over to our Afternoon Express website, afternoonexpress.co.za, where you can get the full ingredients list and recipe to cook along with us. Now on social media, we have not forgotten about you. You get, are you listening everybody? Yep. Okay. What, what, what? You get 10 million rand, but the catch is you never taste a flavor of any food mm. ever again. Oh. Do you take the money or do you keep your taste buds? <laughs> That's a tough one, Santi. Use that hashtag yeah. Afternoon Express in all of your answers. Now let's get cooking. Let's get cooking, guys. So now we're going to start off. You ladies, that side, Palisa mm -hmm. and Anele, you yeah. starting off with the lemon and herb dressing there. Okay. So what you're going to do is just going to chop up the herbs for us. So you're going to chop it finely. But what you're looking for, you also don't want to bruise it so much. You want to release the oils nice and so mm. And then you're going to get all those aromatics coming out. I love that. Yeah. So in terms of the herbs, what do we have? What we have there, it's coriander. We have flat leaf parsley and mint. mint. Yeah. Delicious. That sounds refreshing. That yeah. sounds like everything that we need in a starter. And to me, I can see that you already started. Yes. She's working the cauliflower. But what she's doing now, she's actually breaking it off into, into florets. So that helps it also to cook. Okay. Uh, easy and yeah. So it cooks in even sizes. So, Chef, I have to just start off also by mm -hmm. asking why the cauliflower? I think a lot of people overlook the flavor and the, and the vegetable that mm. is a cauliflower. Uh, I mean, like, it's very, very cheap and it's easy to get. Mm. You find it in every store that you go to. Mm. Okay. That's one thing about it. And I mean, like, it, if you to cook it up right, you, you get all the nuttiness coming through. I mean, like, you take a cauliflower, you char it off with oil, you get all those dark flavors coming through. That's, yeah. Delicious. Okay, Dumi, in terms of a cauliflower, a lot of people say that it's a super food, mm -hmm. it's a super yep. vegetable, it's something that can keep you sustained, but also helps with your immune system. True. What other incredible benefits can we take away from a cauliflower? And not only that, maybe any other ingredients that we're whipping, uh, whipping it together with. Well, today, but the reason we're using cauliflower, or rather, to answer, answer your question, yeah. a lot of people are gluten-free, and I don't know if you've noticed that we've come to a point where we're starting to make uh, gluten-free base items. Yeah. So yeah. even pizza bases, stuff like that. And cauliflower is because of that. It has no gluten, meaning it's perfect for anyone to enjoy. And it's a versatile vegetable, Very essentially. Versatile. That's what I'm all about. Yeah. For me, finances are what are key. You know, I'm yes. always looking at how to mm. save, mm. how to make the most meaningful um, exchange when it comes to my money, Anne. Yeah. And cauliflower definitely helps me, whether it's cauliflower rice, cauliflower pizza base. But today we're making it the star, the star. here yeah. uh, in a starter. And of course, we've got our clover fresh milk that is just going to add that creaminess, that decadence that we need for our dressing. Yes, yeah, so, so oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Were you there to me? So, what I did here, I'm toasting up the, the, the spices. Remember, they were dried up. Mm. So, now applying heat to it mm. releases all the flavors also. So, basically, you rehydrating and bringing life to them again. It's like nutty on yeah. nutty on spices on mm. spices. Yes, <laughs> girl. Mm -mm -mm. It's, I'm going to have like a party in this kitchen and a party in our mouth. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. I actually made mm. cauliflower cheese on Sunday, guys. Mm -hmm. And can you believe how people just <laughs> loved it? But, you know, it's such a basic thing to make, but cauliflower, it's like it's like yep. a nostalgic food. We yeah. all had it with our moms. and I'm glad you're zhuzhing it up a bit, Chef. Yes. Giving yeah. it a personality. Yeah. That's what I'm all about. But something also here that we are overlooking, mm -hmm. and I need us to just dial it back a bit, is that sauce. Mm. Yes. Now, I know mm. it's tahini sauce, ne? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So tahini the tahini face. sauce, um, I know, you know, with flavors like hummus, yep. it normally stands out as a shining ingredient. But here, we're flipping it on its head, and I've actually never mm. enjoyed it the way we're preparing it today. Right now, what we're doing to that tahini, we're adding more flavor by putting all the spices in there. And I'm sure that you guys can smell all the flavors in this kitchen yeah. right now. Yeah. It's coming together. Yeah. So what I did there, I toasted up all our spices. Now I'm going to crush it. So Chef, crushing this, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. For people who don't know what is tahini, what is tahini? Tahini is uh, sesame seeds uh, that you toast it up and then you blend them with uh, olive oil yeah. and then a little bit of lemon juice in it just for the uh, set. I tried to make it once yeah? it was a disaster, like my own, <laughs> so I'd rather just buy it. Because what happens usually, people, they 
roast, they toast the nuts too uh, far. And then you get the bitter flavors coming through. So you need to okay. gentle heat nice and slow. Okay. Yeah. Much right. like um, some people, like myself, <laughs> you got to be gentle with me. You know, you got to take your yeah. time. Now, South Africa, don't forget about social media. Please engage throughout the show. Would you be cooking this along with us? Um, or rather, would you be making it for your family throughout the week? I want to find out from you. We're making a cauliflower with that tahini sauce to top it all off using clover fresh milk. We highlighting the blue bottle, and I think that that is something that is iconic right yeah. now. Yes. You know, it stands out amongst the crowd. It calls your attention, basically, when you go into the shop because of that nice blue color. And the other thing is, I just want to ex explain to people how the milk is actually used in this recipe. Mm -hmm. So we have tahini paste in here. We've got some oil and some lemon juice. And then we just went in with a bit of milk, mm -hmm. um, our clover fresh milk, which stays fresh for up to 18 days. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. And what I've done with the florets is that I have cut them up, but I've made sure to keep it as whole as possible because the whole idea is we don't want it to be like mince or like, you know, crumbs. We want it to keep keep it whole as much as we can so that the paste actually sits on it mm. and it marinades and basically gets absorbed nicely into the cauliflower beautiful, itself. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, so I'm gonna... Wait. Sort of, okay. yeah. This is everything that I toasted now. So what happens is that also people, when they use a first mortem, you don't crush your hands. Can I smell yeah. it quickly? <laughs> You can get it all the way from there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Delicious, eh? So what happens? You, you, you just you smell it. Beautiful. Would it make a difference though if you didn't toast the the, the, the spices? It would make a big difference mm. because now you don't release those aromas in the head. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. So, Chef, wait, before Anneli started um, uh. smelling all those aromas without the rest of us, but it's cool, because <laughs> if you try it at home, you can also get in on that smell of vision even though you mm -hmm. can't smell through your TV screens. But you were giving us some tips and tricks as to how to essentially use crush and yeah. use your pestle mortar. Pest can you just go through that again? So, the pestle mortar, what I was saying is people, they tend to bash mm. when, you, oh. when you're crushing, and then that's going to spill everywhere. The trick about it, you have to circular motion, mm. and that crushes everything finally for you. Mm. Yes, yeah. okay, so that basically mm. does all the work. Yeah. You see, that's why I love cook-alongs. I almost see it as a masterclass, a masterclass mm -hmm. in getting the best out of our ingredients because at the end of the day, it's how you prepare your food. It is the love. It's a it's labor of love, essentially. So the way that you um, not only yeah. crush your herbs, the way you put everything together is key. It's key. Right. It plays... It's very important because it determines how your product is going to come out at the end. Also. Delicious. Okay, so right here, Anele, how far are you with um, making that uh, lemon and herb? I'm not bashing my herbs. <laughs> yes. I'm like going, because normally I go like this, especially with coriander and seeds. I do go like that. But I understand what you're saying. So I've got some coriander, some olive oil, mm. some lemon yeah. zest. I'm still going to add some, um, and this beautiful mint and this flavors is just yeah. intoxicating. And I'm going to add some lemon juice to mine. Yes. Delicious. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just double up here, yeah. making Finish, enough yeah. for the rest of us to enjoy here yeah, and share. Yeah. Do me, how's it Do going? Is sharing the cauliflower with me now. And then yeah, and we're just going to basically massage this beautiful paste wow. into... Mm. And you were giving me a tip earlier. You were saying that when we do this, we shouldn't use a spoon and just try and actually get it around, but we should get there with Dig, our hands. Yeah, with your hands. That's how you're going to get all the flavor through the cauliflower into those crevices there. Uh, okay. Inside, yeah. Did you add any salt to this, or are we not adding salt? Because I know there's a lot of citrusy flavors. I mean, there's the lemon and herb. Do we... Yeah, no, mm. the lemon and herb, the seasoning, we're going to season on the topping. Ah. But the cauliflower, we're going to keep it like this. Okay. The spices are going to bring in the flavor in there. Ah. But I mean, like, if you really need salt in it, you can add a little bit. I think that's very it's, important. Yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry to cut you okay, off. It's sorry. very important because you're making making sure that the cauliflower flavor yeah. is what stands out. Mm. Because a lot of things that I, I notice that we do a lot is when we cook, because we are so used to putting salt in everything, mm. we mm. actually forget the flavor of the actual item we're making. So yeah. right now we want to celebrate the cauliflower and that's why we're not adding too much salt to it. I mean, like also people, they need to understand how to work with salt. Mm. Salt mm. is not really like a... To, to change the flavor of food, mm. it's basically to enhance whatever. Yeah. So you need to be very, very, mm. like, yeah, you need to know what you're yeah, doing. This with lemon it. and herb oh. sauce is also coming together quite mm -hmm. nicely. I was very liberal with my olive oil because I <laughs> love the way that okay. olive oil, you know, for me, it nourishes my skin. Mm -hmm. It helps hydrate my skin. So I love myself some olive oil within anything that I yeah. make. Yeah. And also, I added a lot of lemon, mm -hmm. as me and um, Anele have done as well, because it has those antioxidants that we love so much as well. So as we're putting everything together, how should it? How should we um, do so, Chef? So now we're gonna can i see that please Pali? yep i think yours needs a little bit of crushing in it we ain't got no <laughs> time to put this together let's go what, what's okay. 
How are we finish? Now, how do we finish this? So sauce? now this one is the one that we made a little bit earlier. Oh, so we wow, roast this one whole. This yeah. Show stopper. So this one we roast it whole, but we're making froyles out of the other one. So what happens when you're having a party? So everyone can just nibble on it. This one can be a dinner for two. Can you please pass me that one, Anu? There you Thank go. Thank you. Pleasure. Nice. So yeah. Oh, wow. So now we're gonna top this cauliflower. Oh, yo, that looks divine. I mean, like this is a great meal for vegans. This is a great meal for vegetarians. Hey, that's if, me. Yeah. <laughs> this is, that this is you heaven can just, for you, Anel. Yeah. I know. <laughs> can I have that whole one? It <laughs> <laughs> looks divine. Delicious. Well, thank you so much for showing us how to whip up quite easily, quite quickly, a starter of cauliflower mm. with tahini sauce. Of course, we've got that lemon and herb topping that I yeah. love so much. I mean, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za to get this recipe. But here's a quick recap in case you've missed any of the steps. quick and easy to make, but we're not done. We still have a delicious main coming up. Yes, uh, the next dish we're making citrus asabesh with uh, hake, and then some citrus flavors coming through now. It's going to summer. Mm. Oh. Everyone is looking for that lean body, eh? It's going yeah. down <laughs> after these. <laughs> Nothing beats the long-lasting freshness and quality taste of Clover Fresh Milk. Made with love by Clover.